right, so I have a big Timu box. I think there's 42 different items in this box. Uh, after seeing all these other videos on YouTube the past few weeks, I decided to uh, see what Timu had to offer. And it's a rabbit's hole that you can go down and spend a lot of time. And uh, I think inadvertently add a bunch of stuff to your cart that you didn't even intend to. So some of these may be as a much a surprise to me as it is to my lovely other half. And uh, so she knows nothing about what is in this box. And I know slightly more than she does. So we're <laughs> gonna pull these items out one at a time. I will uh, basically hand them to her, let her unpackage them if they need to be, see if she can figure out what they're for, what I may have bought them for. If not, I'll give her my train of thought. And again, it may be something that I have no clue why I even ordered it because it takes a while to get here. All right, so the box is just over here to my left. Going to uh, dig down in here and pull out item number one. Ooh. <laughs> it says... Pick it out. Made in China. It's all made in China. <laughs> it's not Christmas. Rip it open, baby. It, it's, got a, it's got a hole right there. Just take the flap up. There you go. I've seen these somewhere. I don't remember what it is, though. It's a funnel. It's a funnel. <laughs> So there is a funnel that uh, kitchen use or maybe yeah, shed cool. use. Cool. Garage use. I don't know, but I think it was uh, 15 cents or something. I have no idea. So, uh, so I have one. Just open it. I am. <laughs> I'm looking. So, what is it? Lots of pieces. I don't know what this goes to. Okay, so this is a wire soldering kit, self soldering wire connectors, along with a lot of heat shrink. So, uh, for various projects, I got a trailer that I need to redo the wiring on right now. And uh, I had a bunch of this stuff, but I gave it away to a guy when I moved. If you're watching, hey, uh, so I needed some more because they're really good. So uh, I just bought like, a kit. This has uh, just an assortment of different sizes. So uh, again, relatively cheap, like most everything else here is. All right, let's find something else. Gas leak detector. It's a gas leak detector, she says. <laughs> Pin type. So it's um, <clears throat> propane. If you have propane tanks, um, if you use them, we have one that we use for a fire pit. Uh, we also use it for um, uh, uh, have a torch to burn weeds and such out of the yard. Uh, so, uh, you know, a lot of times you can take soapy water and spray on them and see if um, <clears throat> the propane's leaking or not. Uh, or th this thing just popped up in my feed. A handy dandy gas detector. We will test it out and see if it works later. I might splice that in the middle of this video somehow if I'm able to. All right, this should be easy. Ooh, medicine. That's nice. Ginormous, one week, AM and PM, medicine container. 
either from travel or your home. Uh, I'm getting of the age and I have uh, issues to the point where, um, yeah, I probably would, getting close to filling up one whole, I could about stick my hand in here, one whole side of these just in the morning and in the evening. Uh, I have one, uh, a, a couple of these, but again, this one just showed up in the feed as I was browsing around and it was ginormous. And I'm like, hey, something I can grow into. So here is a very large medicine dispenser. Very daily. Nice. All right, what is that? Flashlight of some sort. I don't remember what that is. It's a flashlight yes. of some sort. So. USB charge flashlight. Does it work? I don't know. Yep. Yep. So uh, this was a really cheap flashlight. I've seen other people review these. Uh, sorry if you have epilepsy. <laughs> and uh, it looks like it'll be a pretty good light for just a junker. But it has rechargeable. It is. It looks hefty. It looks very hefty. But it is. It's very light. It doesn't really weigh that much at all. So there's not a lot in here. But for an emergency light and to be uh, USB rechargeable, um, pretty handy thing to have around if it works. All right. How you doing? Good. I'm ready for some good stuff. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, what is? Let me see. I'm just grabbing off the top. Oh, I know what that is. Watch band. That's for your. So watch? this was a very cheap. I have the uh, iPod Ultra, uh, which uses the 45 millimeter bands. The real replacement bands for this watch, if you wanted to change it, is like 50 bucks a piece compared to a dollar fifty. Uh, so I have I bought two. I have this one and one of another kind somewhere. So uh, I hope that they uh, uh, work well and I don't end up losing the watch because they fall apart somewhere and I don't yeah. don't know where they are. It's not worth saving. No, but maybe it'll be good. We'll see. All right. I saw a duck. <laughs> Oh, cool. I've been wanting one of these for so long. It's been in my cart from Amazon forever. So my wife is uh, <laughs> a duck collector. There are probably just shy of three million of them in this house. So um, <laughs> when I saw that, um, it just popped up in the feed nice. as I was browsing again. So in my Amazon cart forever. I'm glad you got that. That's cool. <laughs> so Love it. now she's got uh, a little duck. Does, it, does he squeak? The dog? Well, she doesn't care. <laughs> cool. Thank you. That one's awesome. That's worth it. <laughs> so that one's for you. Finally, yeah. something for you. The rest of this stuff was uh, mostly utilitarian other than the watch band. It's all stuff that I needed to do uh, do mm -hmm. various work with. What do you mean you saw? You're not supposed to be cheating and looking I, in the box. I saw something a yellow. Okay, like this that. is for you too. It's a very nice folder envelope. Very nice. Okay. All right. Done. Okay. <laughs> I have it in here. Ooh. Nice. That for the back door. It's just a, a magnet. It's for anything, anything that's magnetic. Nice. Well, I know we've been putting them on our door, so very nice. I like it. But uh, there you go. Nice. No, I like it. it. Very nice. All right. What you want to guess is next. It's in there. <laughs> Let's do, I think this is yours, but I don't know if it'll come out. It will. That and some other things, but we'll put this to the side, and that is yours. Planter. Yep, those are hangers for your fence. 
Okay, yeah. And you can put pots and plants in there. We're getting a new fence uh, installed coming up here real soon. And uh, so to decorate it and make it look a little nicer than a black chain link fence, <laughs> you can put these little planters, just show them one, really. Very nice. Um, and uh, if you get it over the white, they can see it better. Um, so there is a pot holder, plant holder. Very nice. Okay, very nice. All right, this is next. I bet you this is worth a million dollars. When I saw this, if it is what it's I think money. it is, it's, the money. it's gotta be it's a the, million it's dollars. The money pack, million dollar money pack. Well, let's let's let them see. I'm trying to guess. Woo, I'm rich. Looks real. So it is uh, a million smackaroonies. Take one of the bills out. And so at, why did I buy this? No clue. I <laughs> just, it was crazy cheap. Showed up in my feed. Just fine. Add to cart. Oh, I know what this is. You'll know as soon as you look at the package. Cards. But they're special. We're big board games. I may do a transition where I show you a small section of our collection of board games, but we've never quite had these. Ooh. What are they made of? Plastic. They're waterproof. That's what I was about They're to say. They're plastic waterproof Very playing nice. cards. Can you show them? Maybe. I don't think they can see them. Yeah, just just fan some out here. So uh, we'll do a trick. Pick a card, any card. So uh, okay, your card is the Ace of Spades, right? No. Okay, uh, the King of Diamonds. No. Okay, you've done it wrong. I'm sure I was right. Okay, put <laughs> those back away. That Ace of Clubs. <laughs> All right. Well, those are fun. So hey. Waterproof card. So uh, if we ever decide to go play cards and it's a torrential downpour outside, but we just want to be outside. Solution. Problem solved. I see some really fun stuff, but I'm trying to hold back. Can I get this out? I don't know what it is. Oh, I know what this is. I do not. No, you don't. I do not. What is it? They bend, yeah. Oh, 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 and you can put them together and make a really long one if you wanted to, I suppose. Um, or you can use them individually. Um, this is uh, an extension for a ratchet or a drill or like an impact wrench. So I think if you turn this and you hold the outside sheath, yeah, then the inside actually turns. So you can get into weird angles and, uh, you know, weird places where screw holes may be and get to it without, you know, being a contortionist. Very nice. So that's another thing for me. So I'm not, you're not doing good. You've got three things and I've got the rest so far. I'm happy with my three things. Let's see. Let's give you something. Okay, well, you ready? Yes. <laughs> what do you think it's no made of? Idea. Take a guess. It's exactly what you think it's made of. Rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, too cute. So I don't know if you saw that. But when you put it on your air vent, regardless of if you use the air freshener part or not, you can put this in your car. And when the air conditioner kicks on, it does this. That. It does this. Is awesome. When the air conditioner kicks on, it does this. Yeah. It'll just sit there <laughs> and spin. It's a little ducky dry, flying an airplane. That is cool. And, I love it. Uh, it will just spin the little propeller on it. And as an added bonus, there's some... Um, do not eat ocean flavored air freshener scents in here. So uh, you could also use it as an air freshener. 
but there is that you. Is too cool. I like a ducky. Oh, that's um, I like him a lot. All right. Yay. That's yours. Ringing something. You don't really need to open it. You can just show it's it. It's a wall hook. It's a wall hook? <laughs> what are you hooking on? I don't know what you're hooking on. It. Plants. Uh -oh. So that can be attached to uh, wooden columns or fence posts, or we have a privacy fence, so you could stick a couple there and put a couple of small plants in it. So You really think i got a green thumb now, huh? Uh, that is not a true that. statement, but we're trying. <laughs> I don't know about all these plants. We are we are <laughs> trying. All right. Dishwasher magnet. Again, this just showed up in my feed. There was absolutely zero reason for me to buy this. But the price was just too cheap, and I had to go with it. Okay, so I can say if the dishes are dirty in there or clean. So this is, so if you show it to them, right. this is for a dishwasher and it's magnetic. It'll stick to the front and uh, your dishes are dirty or they're clean and uh, or it's red or uh, green. So at a glance, if you use it, and I don't know if those are just spacers or wafers. Are you supposed to eat these? No, you're supposed to stick them on. No, it's magnets on the back. I think we're supposed to eat them. You ready? One, I'm not eating two. It. We're no problem. <laughs> it, it, it came from China in a plastic bag. It's got to be good for you. Mm-hmm. You go ahead. All right. Awesome. All right. Different neat stuff that I've never seen before. Mm. That is a tire shine applicator. No, it's like a shoe Putting shine. a tire shine on your tires on your car is usually... Uh, a very messy job and trying to find a place to store the applicator is also very messy so while we're still talking it will keep showing it <laughs> so um this uh foam piece here is where the applicator go you hold it hopefully you don't get too messy you rub it around the tires and then when you're done you can store it and uh, her car is white and blue and has a blue theme to it so I got the blue one. Again, showed up in the feed. I don't have a clue why I bought it, but I did. So now it's yours. Yay. Now I got the clean tires. Woohoo. <laughs> this is for Evie. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> then look at it. It's cute. Be careful. Because I don't know how fragile it might be. All right. So this is also an air freshener. Um, if it's they're not here, so I'm going to assume they're in the, they're in the bottom. Yeah. So there's an air freshener ring, but there's actually nothing on it. <laughs> No, it's, this is just a wooden ring. So you can put your own oil scents on it and use it as an air freshener. But the way it works is it sits on your dash in an EV to just sit right there in the middle. And it, I'm certain it's not going to work inside here, but this is solar powered. So the solar will make the propeller on this little helicopter spin around. So as it's sitting out there in the sun, It'll be spinning and creating its own uh, aroma from the props moving around on this little helicopter. Thanks. So Evie got something awesome. Well, you like that too. It's an airplane thing. This is for you. How do you know what it is? What in the world? Oh, fun. Giving me all kinds of work stuff. We actually needed one of these because I just used the last one and it needed to be repurposed. So that's just a handy dandy little uh, two liter sprayer. Yeah. So you can mix up some stuff in there. I need to put some brush killer in there and uh, to take care of some parts of the yard. 
And uh, so the color of that actually fit that. It's orange, you know, brush killer is in here. Be careful when you're handling it, handling it and when you're around it. So just a little hand sprayer there. Okay. You can put it on the floor if it's too much for the table. All right, we're still going. You've been counting? Let's see if we oh, got This it. is for you. We do need that. So this, I guess just, yeah, what you set it on. Uh, so this is a travel iron, or you can use it at home too if you need to get wrinkles out of your clothes. Uh, there you go. Cool. You push the little button, create your steam, get your out without having to throw them back in the dryer or do other crazy stuff. Bring out the big, big guns and big, what is this iron. called? Iron. <laughs> and uh, so quick little uh, steam Very iron. Nice. Cool. We'll see if it works. All right. What is this? Oh, that's for me. That's for you. Keychains that says. Actually, they're tags to go on my drones. I'm a uh, uh, licensed drone pilot. And uh, I have this one particular drone that I always forget to take off the gimbal protector. So I'm going to attach this to the gimbal protector. So when I take the drone out of the box, I'll hopefully see this hanging down and remind me that I need to remove this. Because usually this goes on the pedo um, sensor uh, that goes on the outside of like your Cessnas or, or, or any airplane really, but those will come in handy for you. Big and more. This that's heavy. That's lighter. Oh, oh, another one. This is another one that we started with. And it is our purple, not with purple. So. Cool. I always use those, right? Yeah. And this is not for anyone here, but when I saw it, I'm like, I have to buy it. And if they see this video, hey, this was very, very expensive. Okay. You can just, well, I guess we can leave it in the plastic, but it's a who rules sign. We just had a good, 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 good friends of ours just got a new pool or are actually in the process of getting it. So uh, this popped up in my feed, and it was the most expensive thing ever. But I splurged and bought this so they can hang it out there by their pool. So they I hope like it. Oh, they like it. Enjoy family and friends. Yep. Us. So we will have to, have to get that to them. They will like that, I think. And it was very, very expensive. expensive. Bank. This is for me. You don't need to take I that off. That's electrical wiring connectors. Um, you can see. I use all sorts of different kinds, but um, I've used those a couple of times and they come in handy in certain situations. So uh, they had some and I bought them. Usually it's very low voltage. I wouldn't put 110 or anything through that, like 12 volts or 5 volt, some kind of little project you're working on. So that's what those are going to be for, just to keep handy if I happen to need them. Nice. And uh, this is for me. Um, labels for your stuff. Yeah. yeah. For your toolbox. Very some nice. little magnetic labels. I've labeled a lot of them with like a labeler. But I saw those and uh, they were giving them away. I'm like, well, they look neat. And I don't actually have all of those. So uh, I can use them all on, um, on my cool. box. And again, this is for me. This is kind of an impact wrench. Another tool thing um, where you can do a right angle, or actually it's, it's, it's not a right angle. It's like a 60 degree angle. So you can put this on your impact wrench and then uh, put your socket on the other end. And um, I know you can't see that, but uh, there is uh, that. And a couple of other uh, just various attachments that can be used with this or separately. So, uh, just again, a little more tools to go in my toolbox. It was just too cheap. Pass up. And I hate to say, because I've said this before, even if it only works one time, it paid for itself. I'm not going to say that because every time I do, it breaks after one time. So, that. so I never said it. Right. <laughs> this is heavy. What is that? 
I have no idea. Oh. Let's see what the, oh, I know what this is. This is for me. Pulls? You want to open it? So uh, being an IT person also, um, I work on a lot of small things and uh, most of my small tools got either misplaced or damaged or they just don't match sets anymore. So uh, just got a set of small tools uh, repair kit. Just a bunch of various little stuff, mostly for smaller things. Uh, there's a static guard, a bunch of different tips. Um, I see this is how you open a SIM card on an iPhone, some tweezers, brushes. Uh, looks like there's a bunch. Yeah, well, there's a bunch more stuff up here. Very nice. Uh, if you can see that. So, yeah, those two flaps had a bunch more. So, a lot of, lot of stuff I could get in trouble with tearing stuff apart. This is heavy. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't either. Oh, this is for me. A lot of. This is for the garage. Um, so I, I got a lot of holes in there. And uh, I'll just show you one. So uh, I could hang these and hang tools and other various things just on the poles. I don't need that other bar, uh, board going across like that other kit that I bought that didn't really work. Nice. So, yay, something more for me. Organizing. All right. Don't ask me why I bought any of these. But I'm just going to show them to you and they will be as much as a surprise to you as they are to me. If I open it, it may be easier for me to see it. Keep gate closed, no matter what the dog says. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so again, I told you we're getting a new fence with a gate uh, uh, for, for our pooch and a, any future, future pooches. Uh, we can hang this sign on the gate just to make sure passers-by don't errantly open the gate and leave it open accidentally. And it was cute. Super cute. Super cute. All right. I love it. <laughs> All right. And here's another sign. I, I think this was accidentally left in my box. This is Grumpy Dragon Coffee Company Serve Yourself. <laughs> I have no idea, but it is neat. I may hang it in the, the garage or something. There's two in there. Two in there. Oh. I have no idea. We have <laughs> these in boxes that we don't even use now. Yeah, like we got plenty of these. But they were cheap. And I liked it. Will you hold that one up for me, babe? <laughs> what does it say? Beware of. Well, just beware. Yeah, beware of and or just beware. And along with that, no trespassing. We're tired of hiding the bodies. <laughs> so here's your sign. Two of them. And this one is for someone that's sitting next to me and go along with some of your other things that you've already opened <laughs> sometimes i wet my plants sometimes i wet my plants say that five times that is funny <laughs> all right we got more stuff this is for you. You'll never guess what that is. Got a handle. I don't know. Again, I mentioned that we moved about a year ago. Well, we never had trees in our yards before. Well, we still don't, but our neighbors do. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in the fall, 
we have lots and lots and lots of leaves to pick up. So what this is, it's leaves gloves. So when you rake them all up, then you pick them up, drop them in a bag, it it and maybe we'll make it easier. Say, test them later. Another watch strap. So uh, that can match it with what come earlier. Cool. Uh, this is for me, us, somebody. It's it's for a desk, really. I like it. It's a mouse pad, a large mouse pad. So we can put it under one of our desks. Very nice. And last but not least, we're at the end. What do you think it's made of? Rubber. <laughs> Another car freshener. Is it different? Yeah. It's the same, but different. But different, yeah. Let me sh let me show a comparison. So a, another car air freshener with spinny props on the front. Nice. Oh, I love it. So that is our first Timu haul. None of it was sponsored, but uh, it, it was fun. Um, spending a lot of time. She had no idea I was even doing it. She didn't even know what this was till just a few hours ago when the box showed up. She didn't even know I ordered this. So most of this was a surprise to her. So if I never make another video, <laughs> That's the reason why, because she was a little too surprised that I made this order <laughs> from Timu. Uh, so we're going to try some of this out. And if some of it requires uh, other videos, we'll post them later, maybe show you some videos of things working. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our unboxing of a Timu order that came in a box. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Where are you going? That's about to be at the off button.